Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Look at this beautiful home right here. This is uh, something definitely that we don't get to tour every day, so I'm excited about this. This is a home that belongs to the Castle family, so huge shout out to them. I really appreciate them allowing me tour, to tour this. And if y'all remember last year, let me step around here. If y'all remember last year, when I went to uh, Hilltop Structures, right there in uh, Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee, and toured some of their models. This is actually uh, a home that they put out here. And we've got a lot to share, so I hope I'm gonna just step around as I talk, but y'all just stay tuned. I'll try to get some drone shots and then we're gonna step inside. But anyways, this is a home that they built. They set it up here, but what they're doing is really cool. Uh, so first off, we're in McEwen, Tennessee. This is about 30 minutes from there, probably about an hour outside uh, west of Nashville, okay? To kind of give you some perspective. But this is a modular home right here. And what they're doing is, okay, see, they got this house right here. If you remember, I toured a version of this last year, but they did some crazy stuff on the inside. We're gonna see that. But what they're doing is they're setting this up and then they took their foundation. This is already done. And they're gonna be able to live in there. And what they're doing, let me see if I can do it with my hand. They're coming off. Actually, if you see, you see the porch, how it goes right there. They're coming off just like that down this way. And it's gonna come down. And in this space, uh, I'll try to do my best to explain. I may have to add some stuff with some text, but they're moving that window. It's gonna be positioned somewhere right in here. So that'll flow into here and they're gonna have a living room, a bedroom, a laundry room. And then off the end, they're gonna have a, uh, let me step down here. And yeah, so down here on this end, they're gonna have like a screened in porch. But what's cool, what I think is so cool about it, they're gonna be able to live in this section and then they're gonna be able to build this you know at their own pace and at their own time so that's awesome let's step around and step up on the porch and make our way inside before we did step up on the porch i wanted to come right here and get a little bit closer look for you we do have us a black metal roof it looks i love the colors they went with on this one all right yeah let's step up on the porch as you can see they got a mini split over there so we got i know we got a mini split up there on the second level and then one in here as well but they went with some special flooring that they did right here. What about that? I really like that a lot. And you can see, so this porch is kind of like hinged. So when this house is delivered, the porch is kind of pulled down right here and they bring the house to set it up, put the porch out. And you can tell this porch is massive, the width and the length. Try to have y'all some dimensions on that if I'm able to. And I talk about it a lot of times, but I love the white and the black, and this is what you're gonna see a lot of, not only on the exterior, but inside this house. So, let's make that happen. Get a look at these uh, fixtures, light fixtures that we have on the exterior. These beautiful doors, full glass. Definitely do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoy these types of tours. And uh, let's head in. So they haven't actually moved into this home yet. They're very, very close though. Um, but I was in the area and I'm going to do some more at Hilltop Structures dealership. So y'all stay tuned for that. Some of those already may be on, but this is one uh, they were like, man, you need to go tour this one because they really dressed it up, did some crazy stuff. And so yeah, able to make it happen. And like I said, huge shout out to the family for allowing me to tour their home and if y'all have any you know questions y'all drop them in the comments i'm going to share this video maybe they'll be able to get on there they can answer any questions y'all have that i'm just not able to provide for you but wow yes i didn't even realize this was the same home the pioneer until i walked in earlier before i started recording and i was like you know what this is that same house i don't know if it's at the dealership still i hadn't been there yet today but if, if y'all remember do y'all remember seeing that when it was like uh, obviously it was a lot of like, I think it was pine on the inside. It was like logs on the exterior. I don't know if y'all remember, I'll try to share a picture, but this is almost the same floor plan, but then not only are they doing that, they're going to be adding this as well. And I'll try not to run my mouth the whole video and show you a lot of different things. There's that mini split. But one other thing I just thought about is, okay, so they looked at the option 
of getting a contractor to come out and building them a house. And this was definitely a lot cheaper option for them. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Let me step over here in this corner. I love all of these windows here. And then obviously the huge vaulted ceilings is very nice and the windows up top. I like how they went black on all that with the beam there. I'll give you a little close up. Yeah, so I know you said like it'll flow into your living room. So these doors are gonna be moved out and they're gonna be on that end. What, I, what I'm hoping maybe is once they get completely done, they could probably send me some photos and maybe I could share those with you. I wish I could maybe comment them in the comment section or something, I don't know, but that would be sweet so you can see kind of what the finished finished work looks like far as on that back. Soft closed cabinets. And yeah, we're gonna go upstairs, don't you worry. I told y'all we had a lot of like the white and the black going on in here. That's uh, that's my jam. You know, what, you know what I was realizing, I'm chewing gum. Stainless steel built-in microwave. I'm sure the uh, stove and refrigerator are on the way. But you've got a lot of room. And think about once you add that other turn with another living room, then you're gonna add even more space like this. I don't wanna move any of their stuff, but uh, I do wanna show you right behind there. That's gonna give you access. Now I'm not gonna go in there because of privacy measures, but yeah, you open that up. That's gonna be a little bit of storage there under your stairwell. <laughs> I'm really trying to get up there. But we gotta keep this going, we gotta keep this going. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Another great storage area. I know what you're thinking. Y'all are like, this could be a great, I tell you what, I, th I think they'd be okay with me opening that. Yeah, had to get the light on. Yeah, there, that'd be great. So this is under your stairwell right here. And then this is another door. We had that other door. Um, right around here. Let me make sure I'm not confusing anybody. I got that door there and this door here. And I know y'all are like, this is a pantry, which it could be. But here's what she was telling me. And I'm on kind of getting a little ahead of myself, but go ahead and share that with you. So this is where you have your stackable washer and dryer. But if you remember, I told y'all that they were going to, let's open this door. It'll give us some more light. Yeah. Give us some more light coming in here. But yeah, the laundry room will kind of be right in here somewhere. And then they're gonna actually turn this into a pantry. So you got a storage room and a pantry. And then have your water heater in here. A little bit of storage also in there as well. And I mean, you can see these interior walls, everything. This is gonna be a heavy duty built house. This is a modular, uh, what you would consider a modular prefab home. It's gonna be a very strong house against storms and stuff like that. Walk on back down this way. Yeah, I've kind of already show, showed you that area. Uh, right here, we have a bedroom and a bathroom. Let's go ahead and step into the bath. I like these countertops. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of, see how they got that gloss? I really like that. Ooh, and I like these faucets. Now the water and power and all that's not on just yet. Well, I may be wrong. The water may be on, the power's not on. See, I got my light. Y'all ain't never seen that. Y'all have always been like, man, I bet you just been wondering. You're like, man, I wonder what his light looks like. That's all it is. It's the light on my cam, my phone. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Yeah, we do have another bath upstairs. I hope I'm doing this tour justice, you guys. Y'all know I don't do a lot of homes like this that often, so I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm having a good time nonetheless, and I'm hoping y'all are as well. But you got two different ways into the bedroom. And I'm going to go in this way because I want to show you what we have right here. Yep, you seen that. You seen that right here. Seen it here first. This is a pocket door. This goes into the bedroom. See, we've got a mini split here. We're going to have one upstairs as well. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So that's going to be three. We've got one in there. If you can see right there above my finger. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I should go in their closet. Okay, they don't, they don't have anything in here yet, so I'm sure that'd be fine with me showing y'all inside of the closet. There's two closets, one there, and then you've got another behind this door. She was telling me they actually uh, put these um, handles and stuff, or they had a uh, hilltop do them for them. They kind of picked them out and everything. So, you know, looks like hilltop can do a lot of customization for you, and you know, I, I haven't done any of their homes since I did them last year. And wow, some of those videos did great. So if you're in the area or, you know, they ship homes, hey, one thing about that, stick around to the end. I'll talk a lot more about them and the process and all that. All right, well, I'm going to shut this door so we don't let any more, we don't let any bugs or anything in. We've got our breaker box right here. I like how they built that around it. And we're gonna make our way up the stairs. Up the stairs. You care for, come on up. And together they built a home that they loved. No doubt about it, uh, they definitely have it going on. They know what they're doing. Uh, they kind of got it all mapped out, especially with that back part. And uh, they got all their ducks in a row is kind of what I was thinking ever since I've been talking to them here. Uh, I feel like me and Caitlin, we would be kind of, which I guess you just, you kind of go through experiences and you learn and you know what to do here, know what to do there. But see, I would have never thought about doing that when I seen that other home at their dealership to be able to like add off the back like that. I mean, most people's, Wow, I'm sorry, I'm talking way too much. But most people, they're like, I don't want to take on building anything because I, I don't have the time or I don't, you know, I need somewhere to get in now. So with this, they're able to do that, move in here and do that. I'm just, I'm really into that. Let's go ahead and head into this room. Mm -hmm. We do have a bath in here. And we have another one of these up here. So, I like that. Give it to God and go to sleep. Amen to that. Preach it. That's all you can do. All right, let me take a quick pan, see where all our electrical outlets are. We got that one there, 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 there. Holy smokes, there, there. Lots of them. Lots of them. Now let's go into the bath. I remember this bath. Now this bath is a lot like the other one that I did, except our countertops, our faucets, and I think the cabinets are maybe a little different. Not exactly sure. I think this is more, this is a newer cabinet that they were putting in maybe a couple of them that I got to do last year. But then we have the shower in here. Ooh, that's a... That's a nice door. And that's glass, like, you know, some of these showers like this kind of give you that, um, 
like that vibe you would see like in maybe a RV or something, but this is, this is sure enough like glass. Wow. Amazing. So very thankful once again to the Castle family for allowing me to tour their new home that they're just finna get into. And uh, I hope I hope they have a, a great life in this house. And then uh, just thankful that they allowed me to show it to y'all. I'm gonna get into some more information that I think you'll wanna know on this proper, on this, you know, the hilltop structure is the one that did this and then just how the process and all that works. So, so set tight. Uh, but y'all don't forget to share. Please share this video with someone and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't. So yeah, I thought we'd change it up a little bit from all the homes I've been showing y'all from the show. And there, Biloxi, but don't worry, I still have a few of those left. Uh, but this was something that, like I said, I went there last year. And man, y'all love these homes. And so I've been working on this trip for a while and it finally, it finally come to fruition. And I was I was grateful I was able to get this. Now we did get some at their dealership, so if you want to see them like on the lot, don't worry. We've got some of them coming, and then also, oh uh, yeah, really, I just want to get the information. I know it's been a long tour. I'll have some stuff in the description. This is the Laramie. I don't know why I kept calling it the Pioneer, uh, but anyways, the Laramie, and uh, they have a lot of different types of homes that they have there. Uh, but this is like what they consider their modular home that sits on a foundation, as you could tell. And they can, Hilltop Structure is what I'm talking about here. They can, uh, they can set these pretty much anywhere in the state of Tennessee. And I'll, you know, pop up a little bit of their website, but you can go check them out if you want to online. Uh, but yeah, these, what you would consider the modular homes set up anywhere in the state of Tennessee. Now they also have park models and those were some of the ones that y'all really enjoyed. And I got a few of those that'll be coming. Uh, but they can pretty much ship those anywhere in the country. Now, obviously, that doesn't necessarily mean that they can set them up or whatever once they're, like, say they ship one to Nebraska. If you're watching from Nebraska, uh, aren't y'all like the <laughs> corn, corn huskers? <laughs> you know the only reason I know that's from that uh, Jim Carrey movie, The Yet Yes Man, <laughs> where they go, like, to Nebraska? Anyways. Uh, but, yeah, it's like they can ship them, but that does not necessarily mean they can, like, the, the transporter can set them up. They have a few different transporters and some can set up in different states and then some basically they could just pull it out there and drop it and then you've got a handle getting it set up and everything. But I think it's cool for what I do because we have viewers in a lot of different areas. And so this way you can look at a home that I can show you in Tennessee that could potentially come all the way where you're at if you're, you know, a thousand miles away or whatever. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, Hilltop Structures, very thankful they allow me to, to tour their homes and they build, as you can tell, high quality homes and they're all built there. Like, and it's just very crazy to me because a lot of dealerships I go to, they have, you know, manufacturers they sell. Well, those houses come from different places. Well, these homes are just built like right there in house and uh, we're going to see some more, some more of them. So, but anyways, there's a little bit of information for it. And if you want to check out their website, you can. Uh, let's get into some just estimated retail pricing on a house like this. Now, I don't really know exactly what uh, this home as it sets costs for them. You know, that's just information I really didn't want to disclose or even ask. But I can tell you that this home uh, at their lot, uh, what it goes for, and basically it doesn't include your foundation or, you know, the setup fee and uh, just a lot of things that has to be accounted for depending on where you're setting the home and all that. Because, that you know, if, if you know anything about this area, I mean, it's a lot of hills, a lot of, I mean, you know, setting up a home, depending on exactly where it's at, you know, a lot of factors are involved. I mean, if you got to set this thing on the side of a cliff somewhat, you know, it's just going to be a lot different than setting it up on a flat piece of property. But with all that being said, this will be able to give you just a good general idea. And before I do that, let me tell you the video. <laughs> Y'all so mad at me. The video's coming out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Next video, Thursday night, 6.45, so time. Okay, here it is. There you go. That's going to give you a great idea what this house be listing for. B, as in, B, not B-E, but just, just B. Be listing for. All right, I'm going to head out. Uh, 
Thursday night. I really don't even know what video is coming out yet. It'll either be one from the show or it'll be another one that I did there at Hilltop. Uh, so y'all stay tuned for that. Hope y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. And uh, I don't know how it is where you're at, but where I'm at, the weather is superior. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing as little as I can on this computer because I'm trying to get outside. All right, I'll see y'all Thursday night. See you.